Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. The rate at which coronavirus is increasing around the world and especially in India is baffling. On one hand, we have a shortage of beds, the vaccine not being ready and the overpriced private hospitals. They are bothering a common man. There is one more thing which is troubling them. So today at prime time, we will have a look at the thing which has made parents lose faith in their child. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you have guessed it right. I am talking about pranks. These pranks, they are living embodiment of the fact that violence sells even if it is scripted or that maybe the parents have set their child too loose that they need to speak in the language that their child understands. But today at prime time, we will try to get a correct picture of what really goes on in head of these boys who try to mess with their parents. But firstly, Welcome to another video of the guy without a plan. So let's get started. Self-narcissistic, egoistic, self-obsessed. Do something good now. Alright, but let me please play this. I look at people and I wonder all day. Who are you and you and I the one in your way? And then I think about myself and ask. So guys, if you go on YouTube and search for pranks, you'll get a number of pranks, okay? But in this video, we are going to focus just on the ones which involve thrashing by parents. So to achieve this fate, the prankster usually tells their parents that he got jailed. That could be in school, in college, his university, or that he got married without telling them. And third type is in which he tries to get caught with a girl. So let's start with the first one. <laughs> So until now nothing has happened. He has just explained his marvelous plan and I'm scared right now. You know why? Because looking at him, I can just guess what would be the health of his father. And and since force is proportional to mass, I can see our, see our dear brother's skin turning dark blue the next morning. Okay, so before he says anything, he's not even like there in the scene yet. But looking at his father, one of my presumption has already been. And now the only thing left to see is how much dark the blue girl gets. Okay, so the uncle just said that how are you supposed to take care of my business if you can't just pass even in business studies? And that's a valid point, truly a logical response. But one thing I don't understand is that your son is telling you that he has failed not in one, in multiple subjects, and still you won't get out. What kind of anger is that? That doesn't motivate you to move even. And then I guess looking at the men of this house, this house basically represents those houses where the men won't even get up to get a glass of water. So till again. Now there's, there's one more thing I don't understand like it has been long since has, the son has come and he has been telling that he has failed and all those things but uncle won't let the newspaper go and I don't know what he has lost in that thing but he's he's just not letting it go so irrespective of how many subjects his child fails in I guess he knows that at the end his son is going to handle his business so why bother anyway but this newspaper maybe he's not going to get it tomorrow how can somebody read at this time that's, that's hilarious Okay, okay, so finally the stick is here and I think this is going to be one hell of a beating. Okay, sit back and enjoy this one. All just one and then he has already said that it was a prank that is stupid and one more thing the uncle didn't even get up to beat his son who has failed in four subjects what an utterly demotivated person he is and then the kind of angle the uncle is beating him with i, I really don't think he would have felt a single blow but still in two seconds he has told that it was a prank oh my god okay this this i don't know it it had a million views i i don't see how and this is so stupid this is stupid just like you i came here to see this guy being beaten and now i'm going back with the betrayal because nothing happened but guys the first one is not going to stop us let's move on to the next one and for this one i promise there will be war Abhiyan, main... 
हैं और दुल्हन बैठी हुई है फोन आया है आया है फोन आया है ठीक है सो जाते हैं मम्मी आ चुके घर पे देखना पड़ेगा हिसाब से जाना पड़ेगा मजा आने वाला है हाँ हाँ ठीक है ठीक है आता हूँ मैं घर पे आता हूँ So guys, our our dear brother is doing a prank on his mother that he got married. Whoa, what an idea! Doing a prank about a thing that the mother was emotional about since the day he was born. <laughs> you are really stupid, brother. At this moment, if you look at his face, it already reflects his fear. अरे दो मिनट रुकते हैं यार। ये है कौन? अरे बता। पहले बता। ये ये आया आया जा। ये ये रुक। मैं बताऊँ। मैं बताऊँ। हाँ। दो मिनट। बैठ तू। दो मिनट। हाँ बैठियो। आओ बोल दो। आओ बोल दो। चलो बता। ऐसा कैसे? Okay, so as you guys saw, the mother wasn't letting the speculated wife to go up, cause I guess maybe she's scared that if the person settles in the house, then irrespective of the fact that the person in the sari is a girl or a boy, who's going to get them out? But our prankster has already indulged in a physical Mexican standoff, so so I guess he's definitely going to get hit a lot. And but we shall see. So let's move on. Who is this? 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 मेरे को पसंद करता हूँ इसको करके तो हम लोग मंदिर में शादी करके आए वो ऐसी मजाक कर रहे हैं मेरे को हंसते हैं तेरे को लग रहा है मजाक कर रहा हूँ एंड द मदर स्टिल कैन बिलीव दैट हिज सन इज़ स्पीकिंग द ट्रूथ दैट ही इज़ गोटन मैरिड ओह माय गॉड सच एन ओसेंट लेडी एंड लुक एट द सन ओह माय गॉड ऐसे मामले तेरे को बताया था ना मैंने मेरे खुद को पालता हूँ मैं Now, in between her son's stupidity and her anger, she's still thinking rationally and saying that you don't even work, okay? And I am taking care of you, and now you brought another one who I have to take care of because he really doesn't do anything. I guess he's in college. So, really, what kind of justice is that? Oh, don't, 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 please, no, please, no, please. Oh my God. Please, no. Are you mad at me, Jati? No, no, no. Who? Who? Why? Who? 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 Who?
So guys, this is our last prank, which is basically caught with a girlfriend one. And as you have already seen, the speculated girlfriend is already a boy. And I'm pretty sure it is some stupid friend of our prankster. And because he's a friend, then motivation for some right things is not his genre. I don't get what is wrong with that guy. Why is he moving his hands? I hope he knows that it's a prank video and not a rap video. Or maybe he's like, I don't have a dialogue. So let me move my hands to show my presence. Maybe. And you know what? This this guy is that person who goes to the wed weddings where he's not invited and still gets clicked with the bride and groom because he has to be in the frame. So guys, what are you doing? It's been a long time. Mommy is coming. Mommy is talking to me. I've talked to you on the phone. 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 Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so now they are on one another. Wow. Brilliant. What a position they have chosen. So if they wanted to make it look real, I guess they have points there. Just let the mother come and these guys are definitely dead. Okay, the mother has come and she started hitting. Guys, look at the speed of the reaction. It was just less than five seconds. She just entered and then she turned to thrashing. What athleticism. I guess we Indians do that in this case or if we have to catch the last train. Mommy, listen. Mommy, come here. Something? Something. Nothing. Listen. 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 Okay, so the prank has been revealed. You know what, I guess they got saved because the mother knew that the other guy was the friend. If it was some other unknown guy, then I think we could have seen more four and sixes. Why? Isn't that obvious? Because we aren't that liberal as well to have accepted homosexuality. So I guess Yes, the last two thrashings were nice and uh, and I feel sometimes there's some different level of peace in viewing fights in somebody else's house. Okay, so that's all for today guys and I hope you are well and you are following the social distancing norms wherever you are. If you like this video, do not forget to click the like button, subscribe to my channel and share this video. So see you in the next one.